Welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we finished up on the stainless steel exhaust. Uh, this is a junction between a turbo and a water jacketed elbow. Our customer has to come down and look at a job and he holds this water jacketed elbow up here and he basically says, hey, I want you to build a boat around this. And, uh, you know, <laughs> so anyway, we've, uh, we have built what it took to do his job. Alright, now um, this bolts onto the turbo here and then comes around and the water jacketed elbow comes off of this section here. Now this flange here and all of this piping that I used in this was off of the old engine and system that was in the boat before he did the engine change out. Now we did make this flange here and this is how the project starts out. Okay, uh, this is going to be a, uh, a three inch exhaust flange for a Cummins uh, marine diesel. And this is 3 8 uh, 316 stainless steel. And we're going to try to cut this ring out of. This is that's ex, that's the flange uh, right there that we're trying to duplicate, and it's a typical adjustable flange for the turbo uh, exhaust connection, and um, and also your your uh, water jacketed uh, risers and stuff bolt on. They have the same pattern, and we're trying to do some piping uh, on a system here, and I've always wanted to know if I could go ahead and take, and that's. Uh, that's 3 8 stainless steel. Of course, I cut it out of this. You can see how thin that is there and there. When you're creating this amount of heat, your part is moving around and uh, within your cut. You can see right here, somewhat thin. And then right in here is like the uh, thickness that it's supposed to be. pretty close on the speed. I mean that's hardly anything on the dross. Actually coming back here and then zooming in like this is the way to go and see so you can get to see that. It's close. Now that I actually uh, can actually hold this thing with my hands and uh, kind of move it around, and I look at really other than other than this one area right here, it's a little thin. Um, but the true test is I'm going to take and I'm going to clean off the faces here, and uh, when I go down to fit this piece onto the turbo uh, to finish uh, configuring the rest of the exhaust to come into the the new um, uh, 
surge tube arrangement they have. I will go ahead and fit this up to the turbo, uh, take a couple screws and see how it fits in there. Of course this has to be bored and, uh, and then weld it in. It may fly, it may not. We'll, we'll see. We'll get a good look at it tomorrow. This is a take finger and go get her. <laughs> uh, hey, we gotta go get our helmet.
uh, here's a here's a view of it in place and the water uh, jacketed elbows uh, on there in position where it's going to go you can see the clearance that it's had to sweep All right, we'll go down on the underside of it and we'll give you a good look at that all right I came down here under the deck level and uh, you know it's still got plenty of room around the uh, the cooler there and uh, you can see how that uh, wet elbow has got to angle back because they're going to put a surge tube in you had to get enough angle so that uh, the approach or the entrance to the surge tube gave you enough surge length past it all right we'll come in the uh, the aft section now all right uh, there's a tail end view and the camera's just about where the surge tube's going to be coming up to Exhaust work, that's a get her done.